on-the-scene video coverage of TCT 2012 is supported by Prodexa. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the privilege in the, on behalf of the authors to present for the first time the results of the ESA left main... Oh. And now? Okay. <laughs> okay. Of the ESA left main 2 trial, which uh, who is a um, randomized trial including only consecutive patients with unprotected left main coronary artery disease. Um, it's already known and there is a large body of scientific evidence showing that uh, the risk of death of myocardial infarction between PCI and cabbage for unprotected left main coronary artery disease is very similar, even at long-term follow-up. However, after PCI for unprotected left main coronary artery disease, the risk of repeat revascularization is two to three times higher than after cabbage surgery. That's why we are looking for a, dr a drug-eluting stand which has the best performance in this patient. In the subset of the ESAR left main, the first one trial, we compared the first generation of drug eluting stents for patients with unprotected left main coronary artery disease. And the TAXO stent and Cypher stent were compared, and there was no difference regarding to death myocardial infarction or the intervention in these patients. So the first generation drug eluting stents, we know that the Taxus is inferior to Cypher regarding high complex um, lesions or high complex subset of patient. However, for unprotected left main coronary artery disease, there was no difference between both stents. The second generation drug eluting stents have been shown to be superior to, prime, uh, to first generation. With the Zion stent, we have the example that at four years follow up, there is a 20% reduction of target vessel revascularization compared to Cypher. 50% reduction of late definite stent thrombosis. And um, there is the Precombat 2 trial has shown that the, sci the science stents probably it's better than the Cypher stent even in unprotected left main coronary artery disease. Another stent uh, of the second generation compared with science was the Resolute stent, and in, in the Resolute All Commerce trial, there was no difference regarding, regarding target lesion failure and target lesion vascularization. But the percentage of patients undergoing intervention for unprotected left main coronary artery disease in Resolute All Commerce was only 2%. That's why we designed the ESAR Left Main 2 trial in this tri uh, four center trial with three centers in Germany and one in Italy. The aim was to compare the Endeavor Resolute stand with science stand in patients with unprotected left main coronary artery lesions. It's a um, study um, powered per clinical endpoint, primary endpoint, major adverse cardiac events, composite of all cause death, myocardial infarction, target lesion, vascularization at one year, secondary endpoints, safety endpoint, definite and probable stent thrombosis at one year, and efficacy endpoint, angiographic restenosis at nine month follow up angiography. We hypothesize that the Endeavor Resolute stent is non inferior to Zion stent regarding the primary endpoint. 605, um, 650 patients with unprotected left main coronary artery lesions were randomized. Key exclusion criteria were uh, cardiogenic shock, ST elevation myocardial infarction, or instant restenosis within the left main area. Half of the patients received resolute stent and half of them Zion stent. 70% angiographic follow up at eight months in mean. Uh, and 100% clinical follow-up at one year. Patients with unprotected um, left main coronary artery disease are high-risk patients, mean age 70, a quarter of them being women, 30% diabetes, 30% history of MI, a high personnet score of 13 in mean. Also, 70% of these patients have already multivessel disease, and which is important in the ESA left main 2 trial, we have 80% of the lesion located in the distal part of the left main coronary artery area, which means a high risk for restenosis. However, the single stenting technique was used in 65% of the patient. Now, the primary endpoint results at one year, no difference according to um, MACE rate, 70% with Resolute, 14% with the science stand. We were able to show the non-inferiority of the Endeavor Resolute compared to the science stand regarding MACE in these patients. According to the stent thrombosis, we have a very low stent thrombosis rate, 0.6% definite stent thrombosis with both stents, and just one patient um, dying suddenly within 30 days in the resolute arm. However, the numbers are very small to show any uh, conclusive um, results. 
the restenosis in the left main coronary area, which means not only in the left main, but also in the proximal part of the LAD and circumflex artery, 21% with the resolute, 16% with the Zion stand, numerically different, but not statistically significant different. According to the revascularization, 12% for, for resolute and 9% for the Zion stand. Important to, to to mention is that only 1% of the patients were in need of bypass surgery within the first one year. So to summarize, this second generation drug eluting stent in unprotected left main coronary artery disease are safe and effective and the clinical and angiographic performance of both Resolute and Science were very comparable. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, so this, uh, <laughs> this uh, paper is open for any questions from the press. Yes, please. Colin from angioplasty.org. Um, I just wanted to clarify. This is the Endeavor stent because uh, Endeavor the, Resolute. Because Resolute. Resolute is also a, is used as a that's a newer stent that is not the Endeavor Resolute stent. Uh, no, 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 no. This is the Endeavor Resolute stent. Resolute. No, it was a little bit confusing today. We differentiate the old Endeavor and the new and the Resolute, new and this was the new Resolute. This is the yes, new Resolute. Yes, this is the next generation I would suggest Resolute. not to use the word Endeavor in this context. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Because the old Endeavor, the old Endeavor stent is uh, not an excellent drug eluting stent platform. He has a late loss of 0 0.7, so a high, very high risk stenosis rate. In these cases, we use the same stent which was used in a, in Resolute Old Camer study is the new Endeavor Resolute stand with the BioLinks uh, question. Uh, I'm Dharam Kumbani from CardioSource. Um, <clears throat> quick question, were these all patients with left main BCI only or did they also have uh, other vessel PCI? Part of this patient had <coughs> also other vessels PCI but, but we included only patients that needed to have um, to have an intervention in, in left main coronary area. And um, nearly 20% of them needed also an intervention in the right coronary artery in the same during the index procedure or somewhere in the LAD or LCX. But uh, all of them must to have need for intervention in the left main coronary area. Can you then put your results in perspective for the syntax trial where the MACE rate at one year was also about 16%? Yeah. Because the TLR rates typically are better with the newer generation stents? Sure. First, in the syntax trial, we have to do with another population. We have not only unprotected left main disease, it was a general population, but um, the, the rate of the MACE rate for, for, peop for people in the subgroup of uh, unprotected left main coronary artery disease, it was 15 or 16, similar with this one, but they consisted also the, the other arteries, the revascularization in the other arteries, not only, not only in the left main area. And we have to admit that the um, the characteristics of the left main uh, population in the ISAR left main too is a very high risk population. In the syntax trial, we had only 60%, as I can remember, 60 of the percent were distal located lesions. We have 80% distally located lesions. And um, most of all, we had here patients who were 70 years old in, in age. In the syntax trial, 65 years old. So it's a, a kind of different population. That's why we have similarities in the revascular, in MACE rates. But so if I you think it would be great actually if you could uh, give us the syntax or the um, clinical syntax score of these patients so that we could put it into perspective, one. And then secondly, I think a big difference uh, that I saw, and I saw the curves actually behaving in that way, is that six-month angiographic follow-up that you actually had uh, in yeah. a lot of these patients, which could drive a higher revascularization. And you actually saw that the curve going up a little bit. So I think that does have <clears throat> something to do with driving those TLRs higher. We don't expect to see the same TLR numbers as um, the first generation DES with the second generation. So I think it's important to note that. But do you actually have some, some of the syntax or clinical syntax scores of these patients? We haven't done this. Great. It was not double blind, of course. Yeah. No, no, but no, this no, emphasizes no. what you said: the jump up with the uh, follow-up in geography. If it's not double blind, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But however, if we compare this data with the ISA left main trial in which we use the Taxus, we have an improvement in the target vessel revascularization in comparison with the ISA left main trial. It are first both one. trans the first one, and um, however, we have to admit we are doing now patients which are more complex, at least between the left main one and left main two. 
uh, Lynn Peterson with Trends in Medicine. So this was a non-inferiority trial, and you met non-inferiority? Yeah. But we didn't um, analyze any superiority. <coughs> we just met the non-inferiority right. for the Endeavour Resolute uh, against the science standard. Okay. Thank you so much, Julinda. Thank you again.